For WKNO News in Memphis, I'm Christopher Blank. A major item at today's Shelby County Commission meeting will be Sheriff Floyd Bonner's contention that it cannot cut funding for 441 positions that have been vacant for at least a year and a half. Bonner says state law prevents the cuts in the upcoming fiscal year. Mayor Lee Harris's proposed budget would still fund 300 of those positions, but it already factors into savings from eliminating some of those jobs. Bonner has also called for the construction of a new jail with an estimated price tag of upwards of a billion dollars. Some alternatives to a proposed 75-cent city property tax hike are expected to start surfacing at the next Memphis City Council meeting. Public opinion has been mixed after Mayor Paul Young proposed that increase, along with a $6.89 per month increase in the city's solid waste collection fee. The mayor says each hike would fund an expansion in basic city services. After a decade of focus on police tactics and accountability, the public now expects Memphis police officers and departments nationwide to wear body cameras. Samuel Hardiman of the Daily Memphian says the price of the hardware and the cloud space for the cameras is adding up. The city of Memphis plans to issue up to more than $50 million in debt over five years. The debt will pay for body cameras, video storage, and the capability that the cameras automatically start recording when an officer draws their weapon. That means... Axon Enterprise, the company that makes the cameras, tasers, and other law enforcement equipment, will receive Memphis taxpayer dollars, and bondholders will receive $54 million plus interest. The Axon contract is part of MPD's proposed capital improvement budget. The money does not come out of the department or the city's general fund. For the Daily Memphian, I'm Samuel Hardiman. A barbecue cooking team from Ocean Springs, Mississippi, called The Shed, was named grand champion of the Memphis and May World Championship Barbecue Cooking Competition held this year in Liberty Park. And across town in Tom Lee Park, a group called Smoke Masters Barbecue took top honors at the first ever Smoke Slam Barbecue Festival. Both festivals say they will be reprising the contest next year at the same time. This is 91.1. More news at WKNOFM.org and on the WKNO app.